Here's a quick tip for building more resilient and future-proof code. Ever had to rewrite code due to changing product requirements? We know it's a pain. Here's how to stop that from happening, hopefully. Requirements change all the time, but the core concepts, they remain the same. That's where domain objects come in. Let's look at an example with GPizza, a pizza delivery app. Now, your initial code will start with something simple like this. Everything looks good until drinks get added. Now, your code looks like this. Eventually, you have snacks, desserts, and new methods everywhere. So what do you do? You think like a smart dev and ask what other use cases could come up? What core idea connects them all? What domain object represents that idea? For the GPizza app, the answer is Fudge Alder class. Now your code looks like this. One solution, future-proof, ready for anything, as long as it's full. But a quick tip, don't go too generic. For example, like this. The goal is to build for stability, not just for today's sprint. Build for tomorrow's changes with domain objects. Share your experiences below and your tips to keep your code resilient.